Leonard Taylor the Third from Miami. There he is. Leo, as we're going to call him. I don't know if he goes by that. I feel like anybody named Leonard has to be called Leo. Yeah. And I think Leonard, I think Big Bang Theory. Oh, so right on. I think Leo, I think Leonardo DiCaprio and his memes. Yeah, see, that, it's much better. If you had to be compared to the dork or the guy who was the heartthrob for the last 30 years, I'd go with the heartthrob. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. one best actors in the past, uh, past three decades. Right, he died in a big boat, but you know, it happens. Uh, anyway, Leonard Taylor the Third at the <laughs> University of Miami, the Florida one, not the Ohio one. Sorry, Big Ben. Um, six foot three, three hundred and five pounds, twenty one years old. In twenty two, played twelve games, twenty four tackles, ten and a half tackles for a loss, three sacks, and one interception. Uh, last year, ten games, nineteen tackles, three and a half tackles for a loss, one sack, and a seventy four point eight PFF grade. Now, I'm going to tell you this, guys. This is one of those positions that I count a lot more on looking at PFF scores than I do stats because it's really hard to tell a defensive lineman how good he is just based on stats. Like if you look at Dexter Lawrence, classic example of his stat lines, they're not necessarily that impressive, but you watch the game and you're like, okay, yeah, this guy's where he's got to be at all times. And, that's why you really got to watch tape and really got to look at actual advanced stats on guys who are defensive linemen and defensive tackles nowadays there. Um, the pros with him, basically, he's got powerful hands. He's got a great rip move. His upper body moves are just amazing as far as, you know, for a 21-year-old at that point to come into the league like that. Uh, the biggest issue you, you run into with him is he had a huge regression at 23. You know, we've talked about this before with some other players. Sometimes you stay behind in college and you think you can get up to a next level, get a little more money. Sometimes that backfires. This is that backfire, you know. So the question comes to be, did he get worse? Did they figure him out? Or was he battling an injury? Because that's the three things that will pretty much cause it. Yeah, it could be all three. This is where the medical stuff, the interview stuff, all this kind of stuff comes in handy, you know. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have access to that. So, but he's been a really high end player for a while. Um, he's was a top five national recruit in high school. So, I mean, not top five defensive line, top five overall. That's how highly recruited he was coming out of high school. Um, primarily, he's used as a nose tackle. Uh, I think he'll probably go round three or four there, and I think he's going to be a guy that'll probably start off as a guy you put in rotation and you hope to develop into a starter. And if you get 22 version of him, he's a starter. You get 23 version of him, he's a backup. So it's a matter of which one do you think he is? Which one is the real? Will the real Leonard Taylor please stand up? Please, please stand, stand up. up. Well, I just realized he's an LT. Maybe oh. he's got to be a giant. He's an LT. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of that. For it's like it's like Leonard Marshall and Lourdes Taylor having having you know a baby. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, Thanks for listening to Two Giant Goofballs, a New York Giants podcast. We appreciate your support. Thanks so much.